Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. I'm saying to America, all of America, this is why it's important that we vote. Three and a half million of us did not vote for Donald Trump and this. Understand this, America. <clears throat> you have a president who takes daily briefings. President Obama showed you that when he had him a briefing on Russia, which he knew all about, President Trump, because he was a part of it. But now you all see what was so funny to y'all that he takes a brief and don't read it. He pays attention to nothing. So now he gets the brief on the pandemic epidemic. Throws it right in his desk drawer. Pays no attention to it. You have a Republican Party. All they know how to do is cut taxes. They don't know how to solve this. All Mitch McConnell Highland is, no more stimulus packages. What if he ain't around to say it? or you or me, we have to start voting and take account of our lives and who is running this country. You all cannot continue to let races put these type of presidents in there because it costs all of us our lives. Everybody watching this see Donald Trump is not, does not have any education nor any sense. He contradicts the experts. That who, a man who contradicts the experts does that knowingly is Benedict Arnold Donald J. Trump. I'm trying to tell all of America he is a enemy to the American people with all of these lies. All of you Bible thumpers, here go another one for y'all. The truth is the way, the light, the eye. And all you angelical Christians following Donald Trump, how do you all feel now? All of you people who cheered when he said it was good people on both sides in Charlotte, how do you feel now? All of you white men carrying tiki torches who screaming, Jews will not replace us, how do you feel now? See, this is what racism and hatred get you. It's going to wind up killing you, the very one who spread it and started all this hatred, like the Ku Klux Klan. Where they at now? Where if they love America so much, we already know they hate people of color. But where the fuck they at now? Where they at now? Where's David Duke at now? Where's they coming to say they love this country and coming to the rescue of it? Where is the Ku Klux Klan Right now, what are they doing? <clears throat> I tell you what, after a whole lot of them red pack of woods fall dead, go and look in that Chester thing up under that bed with that lock on it, and you'll find every Ku Klux Klan outfit that you can't find in stores or drift shops or thrift shops anywhere in this world. You have never walked in a thrift shop and seen a Ku Klux Klan robe, the Grand Wizard's robe, for sale. Because he never gave it up. All he did was kept that robe and put a judge's, a Your Honor robe, over the top of that. That's what he did. He never gave up the Ku Klux Klan robe. He just covered it with a judge's robe. That's what he did. Or he covered it with a police uniform or he covered it with any other uniform. And I know y'all don't want to hear this. So what? It's getting to the death now. Young people don't take nothing serious anyway. And when they start dropping off like flies, maybe they will. Because as I said to y'all, days and days ago, we all need to wear masks. As I said to y'all days and days ago, Henry Ford would be the company to help pull us out. As I said to y'all days and days ago, the only thing the Republican Party can do is cut taxes, and that's not finna help you now. How does it feel, all you rah, rah, rahs who ride for Ronald Reagan and these Republicans to cut taxes 
kill all the USDA meat inspectors, fire all these positions and all these jobs that you sorely need now. How do you feel for the rich to save tax dollars? You tax cigarettes ridiculously for rich people to save money. You steal the lottery money, which you say is for the little kids in school. And every school is raggly. You all are thieves. Politicians are no more than crooks and thieves. And I want you to hear this again. They are worse than drug dealers. They are more cutthroat. Donald, look at Donald Trump. He would do anything. He's even lying to you through a pendulum epidemic. And I'm standing, sitting here telling you the truth to try to help save some lives. I'm telling you, wear a mask. I'm telling you, do not listen at Benedict Donald Arnold Trump. Benedict Arnold Donald J. Trump is an enemy to the American people and everybody in America will be saying it one day after you bury someone that you love. And here's the key. You won't even be able to bury them. You won't see them, be at the funeral. They're too toxic for you to even see them. And I want to see how much y'all going to keep hollering. Y'all going to reelect Donald Trump. Y'all going to keep screaming. Y'all going to reelect him. Let's see if you be alive to reelect Donald Trump since you want to reelect him. Let's see if you can even live through this idiot to be reelecting him again. Let's see if you make it out the woods. All of y'all who ran out the woods and all that shit to go vote him in. Let's see if we go to pulling y'all out the woods dead. Let's see him rah-rah all of y'all from the woods, from the graveyard to come back and vote for him. Let's see him do that. Since he always liked to win and lie about everything. It ain't won nothing since he been in the presidency, but fucking over poor people. And if you call that winning, you Angelico Christians going straight to hell. Y'all going to bust it wide open. That's why I keep telling all of America what Brother Lance Watson say. I'm going to tell all you Angelico Christians what Brother Lance Watson say, and I guarantee all you Angelico Christians, what Brother Lance Watson said is true. All of you Bible-thumping motherfuckers ain't going nowhere near hell and heaven because the man who been leading y'all, he ain't going either. These old crooked-ass preachers cannot lead you to heaven because they're not going. How can he lead you somewhere he ain't going? Tell me that. <clears throat> That's like the blind driving the blind, and they both, all of us, wind up in the ditch. Because we got a blind man, Benedict Arnold. Donald J. Trump, president number 45, is an enemy and a traitor to the American people. He lost the election by three and a half million votes. So everybody in America didn't want this clown in the White House, but electorals forced it on us. So we need to kill that because we can't have any word powerful than the American people. You can't let Donald Trump and the Republican Party be more powerful than the people in which they serve. Mitch McConnell is standing on TV thinking about some money and he don't even know if he's going to live and survive this. There'll be no more stimulus packages. How are we going to pay for it? Here's how you're going to pay for it, Mr. Mitch McConnell. And let me explain it to you so you know I know if don't nobody else. Ronald Reagan took this country off of a gold standard where you had to have so much gold to print money. Ronald Reagan did that. You can print that worthless ass motherfucking paper ass money because you don't have any gold to back it up anyways. So print that shit and let us get to wiping our ass with it because it ain't worth shit. That's right, Mitch McConnell. I know it. Now you know I know it. And hopefully America listen and they'll know it. Print all that goddamn money you can and give to the people because it ain't worth Shit, there's no gold backing it up. Y'all done took 
and hid all the goddamn money over there in Panama, the Panama Papers. You got trillions of dollars taken out of circulation from the poor. When you motherfuckers die, who's going to wind up with that money? Somebody's going to wind up with it. And if our lives right, the meek shall inherit all of that money that you rich, evil people have stored up. In the very Bible you all thump, it says the meek shall inherit the earth and they won't even have to throw a blow. Just walk in and take it. This is from Eddie Jackson Jr. I know y'all ain't going to listen to it, but I'm going to say it because it has to be said and this may save a life. If one person listen at this and start wearing a face mask, stop listening at Benna Dick Arnold Donald J. Trump start listening at the experts, the surgeon general, people who know what they're telling you. The deaths are finna start registering. I want to see the poll that keeps saying Donald Trump is so liked. He lost by three and a half million votes to the popular. So you tell me, how in the fuck is he so much liked? I don't see no motherfucker losing the popular vote by three, not no one or two, three and a half million. And you're going to tell me he's well liked. He's only liked by racists. Now let's see how he, what he do for the racist. Let's see what he doing for all these white racists who run around here. Oh, Donald Trump this, Donald Trump. Where's the Make America Great hat ass? Put the motherfuckers on now. Wear them to your grave. Make motherfucking show. When these people come to pull your ass out your goddamn house dead, you got on a Make America Great hat. All of you motherfucking Donald Trump fans, make motherfucking show you put your Make America Great hat on now. Don't stop wearing that motherfucker now. Wear it proudly more than you ever wanted. Sitting in your goddamn living room waiting to die. This is Eddie Jackson Jr. Real Tree, Real True Street Crimes. Y'all get me so excited. This Benedict Arnold, Donald J. Trump, the enemy of the American people get me so excited. I get the bobbling words and shit. Because I'd be so excited trying to tell you all to please wake up. This man step in front of the TV and lie every goddamn day. Ask him to get the fuck off the TV and go back to tweeting. And let the Surgeon General come on TV and do his job. And tell him, Benedict Arnold, Donald J. Trump, tell number 45's punk ass to go back to tweeting, bitch. Because more America won't get it. Just them racist motherfuckers you tweeting to. Get the fuck off the TV because you haven't been there throughout your whole term. So get your punk ass off the TV and get the fuck back to tweeting now. And kill all the motherfuckers you tweeting the motherfucking lies to. That's what you do. Get that son of a bitch off the TV. And I'm talking about Benedict Arnold. Donald J. Trump is a son of a bitch and an enemy to the American people. If I was in Russia where Putin at, I couldn't say this. But thank God I'm in America. And I'm going to say it until I lie, take the breath out my mouth. Because I got enough motherfucking sense to know throughout my entire existence. White folks ain't been no motherfucking good. And this is Eddie Jackson Jr. Real Tree Scribe saying subscribe, share, and like this. And thank you to everybody who hit my link. And I hope every one of y'all listen to what I'm telling y'all. And you all live and survive. Fuck them hunkies because they ain't never listen. Now, I don't even want them to look at my shit. Fuck y'all because y'all going to be dead anyway. And the meat going to take it over anyway. Fred Williams told me in a documentary that black folks would own Hollywood now if it wasn't for the rat-ass NAACP coming up with that bullshit-ass term, black exploitation. You don't hear white exploitation, do you? But here go, like I told y'all, crabs in a motherfucking barrel. 
That's what niggas is. Fred Williams, Jim Brown, my brother, they finna take over Hollywood. Saw this biggest ripoff, some of the biggest movies. Hell Up in Harlem, Cleopatra Jones. The biggest movies out. They making the bullshit like Exorcist. Didn't nobody want to see that bullshit. So they went and gave the NAACP some money to fuck over us. Fuck the NAACP too. Because there's some rat ass niggas too. This is Eddie Jackson Jr. telling you the truth how it was. Ask Fred William. Ask goddamn Jim Brown. Ask him. Ask them their opinion on it. Ask Jim Kelly his opinion on it. And Dodamite dead, I tell you, ask Dodamite his if he was alive. All of our, ask Harry Belafonte. Ask my brother, James Earl Jones. If you see a good fight, get in it. This is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crime, saying share, subscribe, and like this. Thank you to all. Peace and love. Stay safe. I'm out.